Hello guys, what's going on? And in this video, I'm going to be actually talking about um, my my ex-girlfriend. And this actually took back way back in 2019. And basically what happened, so there was this one day where she wanted me to come to the cinema with her and her friend to go watch a movie, obviously. And when she first suggested it to me, I was like, no, I, I really don't want to because uh, I had th other things to, to do. But it was a weekend and I'm like, I mean, she really wanted me to go badly for some reason. And I'm like, okay, screw it. I I'm just going to go because, well, well, one of her friends said to me that she was like crying that, that I'm not going. I, I think I remember, I, I think that's how I remembered it, really. I don't know but yeah that's all that's how i remember she said you know my girlfriend was crying but yeah so i'm like you know what i'm just gonna go because uh, i don't want her to feel i don't want to feel bad you know i don't want to upset her or anything so i just went and on a day when i got to the cinema um they were both waiting there and and then when i got there i'm like hi what's up and she, um well my girlfriend she didn't really talk to me no, this relationship it wasn't the best relationship because we really we barely had a full conversation with each other in person because it was always always on um, messenger. And I actually first started talking to her back in February when I f ever first got Facebook. Because still, then this was the same year, year by the way, as 2019. And anyways. So I got there, um, we, for some reason, like, and by the way, um, my younger sister came with me, because I actually can't remember why she came, I think her friend wanted, um, or no, I think my girl, my girlfriend's friend wanted uh, my my younger sister to come for some reason, so she came too, so when we got there, we were both waiting, and, and my girlfriend was sitting, sitting down, and her friend was standing, and we just stood there for some reason for five minutes, and we barely talked to each other. I just said hi, and then that's all. She didn't, my girlfriend didn't really talk at all. So, for some reason, we were just waiting there. I don't know why. Like, we were like, we've barely been talking to each other. Then five minutes later, she got up and went over um, to go um, into the theater and gave the tickets in or something, I, I can't remember. And we got in, and we watched the movie, and then halfway, or like, near the start, or, uh, halfway through the movie, sorry, uh, my younger sister started, like, to feel sick, and she wanted to go home. And then, yeah, and by the way, she is very young, she was crying too, and I had to, like, calm her down by bringing her, like, out, um, outside of the theater. And we just sat down, um in the near the what do you call it it's near near the, the entrance where you go walk in it's not, it's not like outside of it it's like like inside still i don't know how, how to describe it i don't really know that much about cinemas but anywho um we probably waited there now don't get me wrong she didn't want to go back in because she just wanted to sit there to calm down she didn't want to go back in because she didn't like the movie and no no i did and by the way the movie was actually the, the um this comedy movie and for me i'm not big i'm not much big of a fan of comedy movies or not my type i'm more into action and other movies other than comedy you know Anywho, well, actually, I do like some comedy stuff, I guess, like just particular comedy, but not all comedy. But anywho, um, yeah, we just probably we were waiting for them for the movie to finish. Like, like, and don't get me wrong, this was a big waste of time and money. Like, I should have went. Like, if this was gonna happen, and by the way, I forgot to mention this when we were all wa walking into the to the watch the movie, we were all supposed to sit beside each other. But no, that didn't happen. But but the two of them went to go sit at the top, and then me and my sister instead we sat in the middle, and they they were supposed to sit with us in the middle, and they went to the top. And I don't know why we just barely talked to each other, because I think I at the time I think I guess I was nervous. I was not going to talk to her, but I didn't get the chance to. But anywho, um, yeah, we anyways I was gonna yeah oh yeah the part the uh. Um, I'm kind of trying to get used to this because this, this is my first story time. 
Um, anywho, so me and my sister were probably waiting there for like two and a half hours, one and a half hour, I don't know, it felt like an hour, two hours. And then afterwards, when the movie we finished, everybody was was walking out, and then we saw my girlfriend and her, and her friend. And they walked out, and my girlfriend didn't care at all. Like, she just like, you know, I mean... I think she cared. I, I I don't know, but she didn't seem to react to it. But her friend did ask if she was okay. And anyways, we we waited to be pick, picked up um, because I was supposed to be also picked up um, by her by my girlfriend's mom too. And so we probably waited there for like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, I think, something like that, and then. I think it was like ten minutes. Okay, let's let's just say ten minutes. So ten minutes later, her mom's arri- her mom arrived, and when her mom arrived, there were there she was in like a, it wasn't like a big car. It was kind of like a small car with only like it was like five like a five seater. Yes, it was a five seater, and there was there weren't enough room for all of us because it was her mom and her her brother was her too. I think it was her older brother. And there weren't enough room, and that, and yeah, they barely talked to us. Like her mom, no one talked to us. Like I was just waiting there for for me to get in the car, but there weren't enough room. And I like to be honest, I could have just simply like did this. Like like I could have just let my sister sit in my lap, along the way back to her house. Like I don't I don't get it. They just left us. Like they shut the door. They didn't talk to us or look at us. And me and uh, me and my sister were stuck at the cinema. Because I was supposed to get picked up by her mom, but that never happened because they just didn't talk to us or looked at us at all. And and, and when right before I was gonna go into or walk into the car, um, I was just waiting for them. Like they must be talking to, they must be talking like, oh no, there's not enough room. We don't have enough room for your, you know, boyfriend or whatever. And then yeah, they just yeah shut the door, drove off, and yeah. I, yeah, it was a really, and don't get me wrong, it was a bad relationship. It wasn't, you know, the best. And yeah, we were stuck, and then my sister, younger sister, started, started crying, and yeah, and I was very, very mad, and we were stuck. And to be honest, it's definitely that no, that day was one of the worst days of my life of 2019. And I did not want to think about it again because I got very mad. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, you know, because I, to be honest, I really started started to get sick of just being at this, being at that cinema. Oh man, I I, I don't know. I just oh, bad memory memories are. Anyways, um, we um, oh, I'm trying to catch up here. Um, so yeah, me and my sister were probably stayed at that cinema for like three hours or something or even more we were just stuck there like like we like we we, we couldn't like there was no one to pick us up because first of all my older brother was at football my mom and dad were away for the weekend at Belfast I couldn't pick us up my my older sister she, she was working and yeah we were stuck nobody could pick us up and yeah like literally four hours later did I say five hours I don't remember I don't know how long we stayed at the cinema but yeah um we actually got in con- well I got in contact with my family about it and and well my mom said she couldn't do anything she couldn't pick you up and she she said to me um uh, uh, we have to wait for my older brother to finish football or you know to you know because he was going to go home from football oh sorry about that um, to go home for football, and he and my older brother picked us up like four hours later because he was a football, obviously. And yeah, and he picked us up, and we got home. And when I got home, I had to talk to her the why and then why she left us. And then she was actually crying, but I didn't really believe. It. I'm not sure if she was crying about it that she left us, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole story, guys. But more of the story, make sure if you're gonna find somebody to love, make sure to pick the right one. Don't don't be like me, okay? I I think this might be my fault, because back in high school when I first saw her, for first time I'm, I'm like, okay, she's pretty. I really want to date her or whatever, and yeah, just always pick the right one, cause I definitely didn't. Ask. And as I was gonna say, it was kind of my fault, cause I never talked to her at all. So yeah, just pick the right one, guys, and that's all. And peace. <laughs>